So we are going to test out Hulk in GBR. I'm going to get two folks from my stream who are going to do nothing and sit back so that we can see how much damage the Immortal Hulk does with two different ISO sets. Technically, one ISO set and one group of ISOs. So the first on the agenda is going to be all hit point ISOs. I don't have them all fully awakened, but I have most of them fully awakened. I've got six of them. And we're going to compare the damage output from that compared to Power of the Angry Hulk. Now, obviously, all of these are only one star awakened, but again, we'll compare these two to each other. So I'm going to do Poa first. Uh, the details on my character right now are as follows. I have 200% critical damage, 40% crit rate. Ignore defense is at 50. Cooldown is at 48.99. The custom gear is a CTP of refinement, 31.5% extra hit points, recovery rate 72%, and then we have the 6% activation with the 5 hit guard. I don't have any regens to put on him. So his uh, uniform is at heroic right now. I've got double hit point options on him with a cooldown option. And yeah, as you can see here, he's not perfect, but it, he's actually sitting at 47,000 hit points, which is kind of cool. So I'm actually going to use Red Hulk because she gives a increase of 25% hit points. I do. Does she give passive, or is she only for her leadership? And I think she's universal, right? It'll be easier to find her this way. Thank you. All right, here we go. So this is the team that I'm going to use both times. All right, here we go. We will open this up. Yeah, just just stay back. Yeah, just stay back. Oh yeah. Super great damage. Everyone knows at tier 2 that he's not as powerful as a tier 3. So 22 million. That's 20 million it's at right now? Right there, right there. Okay, so 23, right? 23. So let's, ex let's exit out and do it again. Been disconnected. Now we're going to switch because, like I said, we're doing an ISO set comparison. So we're going to compare the one ISO set versus the other. So I'll reinvite them both again. They'll sit and do nothing. And we will see if that ISO set compared to this ISO set makes a difference. So right now, we're, we're, again, we were using POA at the moment. Again, 47,000 hit points. Now we're going to switch over to the no bonus from an ISO set, but just hit point ISOs. Because he does damage based upon hit points. Thank you, Falcon America. I appreciate you, sir. And like I said, this is only a tier two, and everyone online is saying Hulk sucks until he's tier three. His tier three is what really makes the difference. But again, I wanted to see a difference between the ISO sets, so. Because then it's actual raw damage of the Hulk. I don't know. This isn't looking too shabby. That's what I'm saying. Like, And this was still chasing one of the Sentinels. Right there. So it's about the same. Maybe 100. Yeah, just just under. And that's, that's what's chasing one of the Sentinels. Ha. Huh. 
So maybe it doesn't make as big of a difference as I thought. Yesterday when I was trying it, it was about 300,000 different. But I mean, as you can see here, that's that's not too shabby on that damage, considering he's a tier two. So again, we're going to test out Hulk this time. At World Boss Ultimate against Proxima. Tier 2. Use Power of the Angry Hulk here. Uh, it is a Stage 7 bonus. Just for the record. And we are using a CTP of Refinement, which gives him extra hit points. So his max hit points right now is 47,000. Here are his details. 200% crit damage. Max out ignore defense. Almost maxed out. Cooldown. All right, so we're going to try this first, and we're going to take on Proxima. We will do 60, because why not? And let's see, the team will end up using... Let's replace this team, because that was an experiment from earlier. We will use Red Hulk, Victorious, and Hulk. And Victorious, I think we said, was Universal. Yep. For that extra hit points, basically. Nice. We will use three of the Power Cosmic. We will use Ancient One, and we will... I don't know. I don't think we're going to need the healing, honestly. Let's let's take the healing out, because I don't think we're going to need it. I'm Let's go. All right, we'll stop there. So a minute 30 left on the clock, 11 bars, almost through that 11th bar. So almost down to 10 bars and then 1 minute and 30 seconds. So we're going to try again. We're going to switch over to the other ISO set. All right, so now we're going to switch over to all hit points because the damage is 50 points. Now his max hit points is 51,000. So that's interesting. So if I go over here, 47, then I go over here, it's 51,000. So that's price spike and his hit points, 40 HP. All right, so we're going to go 60 again, exact same team, exact same strikers, and let's go. We're going to go on the other side You also think that there is the ISO set that I was uh, using isn't fully available in the one there. So I'm just going to fully one, but I'm still using the one, so I really experimenting, so I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. It seems like it's pretty close, but I feel like there's more damage output from all the ISOs. So again, they're all the ISOs, so I'm starting to think it would be better to go with. Because the free gap ones, I got all attack hit points with free gap ones. So the final also increases uh, hit points every one, that's it. And then we got all attacks, which is damn sure it's just as well. Uh, I think that one thing is way stronger. <coughs> oh, the Elite Wolf and one shot us. Yeah, but she still healed one shot us. Wow. So I'm open my full bars, and I'm at 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Like, way better. I was 11 bars, but then 30 seconds left. Like, I think, I think, I'm, I'll wait till I'm 11 bars, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Do it faster, I'm stronger. And she's talking about this. I don't know, you're not comfortable. Yeah, I think I'll say. Yeah, I'm at 1 minute 40 seconds, and I'm halfway through the 11th bar. And of course, now she's doing her spears. Yeah. Okay, so 1 minute 30 seconds, and I'm halfway through. So it seems like the hit point thing is comparable, but I also don't have that other ISO set fully maxed out. So I'm thinking I'm thinking you can go either route. I think they're, they're close enough where it shouldn't make too much of a difference, but now eventually I'm going to have to fully awaken that other ISO set. 
So, I, yeah, I, I didn't need to do that. I did not need to do all this hit point stuff because it, it looks like it does about the same as the POA. You know, I expected this to be a little bit faster in the clear time, considering it's just Apocalypse. Stage 5 Apocalypse. That should have been much faster. Yeah, I, I definitely... I don't know. I need to test him out on Tier 3, because this is, this, is, this is sad. So, again, taking Hulk with Poa. 47,000 hit points. Here's his stats. Let's go. Oh, yeah, and he has a CTP of Refinement. We're going to go for a hit point build like we did before. Can do. So three, five, wait for the airplane, four. Alright, tier 2 Hulk with Poa for ABX Day scored 633,291. <clears throat> so let me put that down on a notepad so I can remember it for the next part. 633,291. So that's the score to beat. Now let's switch his ISO set. So we're going to use the exact same team, but first we are going to switch Hulk to the other ISO set. Well, actually, it's not an ISO set to the other ISOs. So that's the only thing we're going to switch. We're going to switch to all hit points to see if that increases. So that puts his hit points up to 51,000. Still have the egg on him, the CTP of refinement. Again, here's his stats. It does take down his ignored defense. I wonder if that has having an impact on it as well. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, cr crit rate and dodge are the biggest ones. So 33,000 less without an actual ISO set. It's closed. Oh, I got gotcha. you. The compost is closed. So final verdict on Hulk should you use the all hit points versus a normal ISO set? After the experiments that I've run, and even taking into the consideration that we don't have the max ignore defense, it's close enough that, I mean, I guess you could, but honestly, it's probably better to just stick with POA ISO set. And I am using three hit point chaotic ISOs with all attacks on these. So I would go with the POA for Hulk. I don't think the egg is bad on him, but until I get a tier three and really get a chance to experiment and play with it, I won't know for sure. But yeah, 
hopefully that information is helpful for those of you considering.